for coming to Sabbath School with us today. Let's start with prayer. We're going to sing our prayer song, and you can kneel down with us at home. worship you in church. Amen. We're going to start this morning with TikTok. It's time for Sabbath school. So if you have some wooden spoons or Lincoln logs at home, you can TikTok along with us at home. So we'll sing this twice through. Mary. 
Mary didn't know what to name her baby. She didn't decide to name the baby Jesus. An angel came and the angel told her that she was going to have a baby and to name it Jesus. And I am so glad that she had a baby Jesus who would grow up and be the savior of our world. So we are going to sing, I am so glad that God sent his son. If you have banners at home or flags or scarves or napkins, you can wave them at home. Here, I am going to wave a flag. And we can sing this song twice.
can't go on a trip that long without some water. I'm sure they took some water with them. What would you have packed if you went on a long trip? At last, Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem. They were so glad to have made it all that way. But there were a lot of other people that had come to Bethlehem. So they had to go around. There were no motel, no hotels, and they didn't have any friends to stay with in Bethlehem. So they had to go to the inns to see if there was any room. There wasn't any room, but we are going to go and knock at the inn. So if you want to go and knock on a door with me, or you can knock on the floor, we are going to knock on the door of the inn to see if there's any room. Thank you. 
because it's a very dry desert area and camels can go a long ways without drinking water. So these wise men probably rode on camels. So we are going to pretend to ride on camels today. So if you have a big blanket or a pillow, you can roll it up and ride on that and pretend that you are riding a camel too. We are going to sing the camel's winter walking. about that star of light that the wise men followed on their way to baby Jesus. If you have a flashlight at home, you can hold and wave your flashlight while we sing this song. Shine, shine, star of They had brought with them some gifts. They probably didn't bring a box like this, but they might have brought a few of their presents in boxes, and they might have brought a few of their presents in jars. They brought frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Frankincense and myrrh were two sweet-smelling perfumes, and gold was worth a lot of money. They, they were gold stones or gold chunks or maybe gold coins but they brought them to the king it was a traditional gift for a king did you know that god wants you to bring him a gift but he doesn't want you to bring him gold or frankincense or myrrh or sweet smelling perfumes or even christmas presents god wants you to give him your love. Sometimes people say your heart, but what he wants is for you to say, I love you. That is what God wants to hear. So you can bring a little present or box with you to our baby Jesus, or you can just sing along with us at home. Jesus. 
it was about some of the last days that Jesus was alive. In Jesus' time, there were men in Israel that were called priests. The priests served in the church. God had told the priests how to behave, and the priests were supposed to study the Bible and tell the Israelites about everything in the Bible. And so they told all the Israelites exactly how to follow God according to the Bible. But while they told people how to follow the Bible, many of them wanted to still look better than everyone else. And so although they followed all of the rules, they weren't always nice. And when Jesus came, Jesus said, yes, it is important to follow the happiness rules, but what's most important is that you be kind and that you serve others because that is what the happiness rules are for. The happiness rules are to help us know how to be kind to others. And this made the priests very angry because it made them look bad. Jesus was saying that they were wrong. He was saying that they needed to be kind. And so they hated Jesus because he made them look bad. And Jesus had some disciples, some followers, and they loved Jesus. They listened to everything that they had to say, but there was one of them who didn't really love Jesus. He loved looking good, kind of like the priests. He wanted to look kind, but he didn't have love in his heart. And so, he went to the priests because what he really loved was money. And he said, would you give me some money if I told you where Jesus was? And they said, yes, we would. He said, well, how much money? And they said, 30 pieces of silver. That was a lot of money back then. You could buy a whole piece of property to build a house on with 30 pieces of silver. And he said, okay, give me the money and I will tell you where Jesus was. So they gave him the money and they followed him to a garden where Jesus was praying with his followers. And his followers had told him when he, that they loved him and they had told him that they would protect him no matter what. And Jesus had told them, "In, I am going to die. And he said, after three days, I will rise again. And they said, no, no, you won't die. We will protect you. No one will hurt you. But Jesus knew what was going to happen. And sure enough, when the soldiers came, all of his followers were scared and they ran away. And the soldiers came and they tied Jesus up and they dragged him from one place to another. And they hit him, and they put a crown of thorns on his head, and they made him carry a cross, and he was so tired. So someone volunteered to help carry his heavy cross. And he did die. Jesus died on a cross. And it made his followers so sad. It made the children sad. Jesus had been such a nice person, and he had been so kind. And Jesus died on Friday. And he, sure enough, just like his other promises, Jesus keeps his promises, and he rose again after three days, which we'll learn more about next week. But the reason that Jesus died is so that one day we can all go to heaven and we can be with Jesus forever. I can't wait to tell you the rest of the story next week. Hi everyone. Today, a guide for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I'm so glad that each of you came to spend your Sabbath with us here today, and I can't wait to see you again in person. So for today, I'm going to sing goodbye, and hopefully I will see you soon. We'll sing our song. Mm -hmm.